Welcome to a journey into one of the most fascinating concepts in modern physics, the multiverse. This idea, as mind-bending as it is, isn't a product of 21st century thought. It has roots stretching back to the ancient Greeks, who pondered the possibility of infinite worlds. Fast forward to today, and the concept of the multiverse has taken on new dimensions thanks to advances in quantum mechanics, astrophysics, and cosmology. It's a concept that has captivated the imaginations of scientists and philosophers alike. For scientists, it's an audacious framework that could explain some of the deepest mysteries of existence. For philosophers, it's a profound meditation on the nature of reality itself. But what is the multiverse? Simply put, it's the idea that our universe, the vast expanse of space and time we inhabit, might not be the only one. So buckle up as we dive into the captivating world of the multiverse opening. The multiverse is not a single concept, but rather an umbrella term for several different models. Imagine opening a door to find not a room, but a collection of diverse universes, each with its own rules, its own reality. That's the essence of the multiverse theory. But it's not just one theory. It's a collection of theories, each proposing a different kind of multiverse. First, we have the many worlds interpretation. Born from quantum mechanics, this model suggests that all possible outcomes of quantum events actually occur. Each outcome spawns a new universe, creating an ever-branching tree of realities. It's like flipping a coin. In one universe, it's heads. In another, it's tails. Next is the inflationary multiverse. This model is rooted in cosmic inflation, the theory that shortly after the Big Bang, the universe expanded at an exponential rate. It suggests that our observable universe is just one bubble in a sea of countless bubbles, each with its own physics and perhaps even its own form of life. Then we come to the string theory multiverse. Here the fundamental building blocks of reality are tiny vibrating strings. In this model, different universes could have different dimensions. Some might have more than the three spatial dimensions we're used to. Some might have fewer. We also have the quantum gravity multiverse. This is a still-developing model that aims to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity. The two great pillars of modern physics that, frustratingly, don't seem to play well together. If successful, this model might propose a multiverse of its own. Finally, we have the mathematical universe hypothesis. This idea suggests that all mathematical structures exist physically in their own universes. It's an abstract and philosophical model, but it does have its proponents. Each of these models paints a different picture of what the multiverse could be. Some suggest a multitude of universes, each with its own physical laws. Others propose that every possible version of reality exists somewhere. Some even suggest that our universe could be just one of an infinite number of mathematical possibilities. But what about life? Could it exist in these other universes? The answer to that is as varied as the multiverse models themselves. In some, life as we know it could be possible. In others, the fundamental laws of physics might be so wildly different that life would be unrecognizable or even impossible. These models, while distinct, all propose a reality far grander than our observable universe. Each one opens up a realm of possibilities that, while currently beyond our direct observation, tantalize us with their potential. The multiverse theory is not just a theory about the nature of reality, but also about the nature of possibility and the potential that reality could be far more complex and far more fascinating than we've ever imagined. Closing, these models, while distinct, all propose a reality far grander than our observable universe. Evidence for the multiverse, while intriguing, is currently indirect and to some, unconvincing. You see, when it comes to the multiverse, we're dealing with a concept that's fundamentally challenging. It's like trying to find a needle in a cosmic haystack, but the needle and the haystack are in different dimensions. One potentially indirect indication of the multiverse comes from the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a relic radiation that fills our universe. Some scientists speculate that if our universe bumped into another universe in the distant past, it might have left a detectable imprint in the CMB, like a cosmic fingerprint, if you will. 
However, these imprints could be faint, and distinguishing them from random fluctuations or noise in the data is a formidable task. Then there's the fine-tuning argument. Now, this one is a bit philosophical. It revolves around the idea that our universe seems suspiciously well-suited for life. The laws of physics, the values of fundamental constants, the properties of elementary particles, all appear to be finely tuned to allow for the existence of stars, galaxies, planets, and ultimately, life. One explanation for this fine-tuning could be the existence of a multiverse, where each universe has different physical laws and constants. In such a scenario, it's not surprising that we find ourselves in a universe that allows for life. After all, we couldn't exist in a universe that didn't. However, all these evidences fall short of a smoking gun. They're indirect, circumstantial, and open to interpretation. The biggest challenge lies in the fact that other universes, if they exist, are likely inaccessible to us. They could be separated by insurmountable cosmic distances, reside in higher dimensions, or exist in completely separate space-time realms. This makes direct observation or testing virtually impossible with our current understanding and technology. Yet, the lack of direct evidence does not deter the scientific pursuit. The multiverse hypothesis stands as a tantalizing possibility, a potential answer to profound questions about our universe and its origins. It's like a cosmic detective story, with scientists as the detectives, piecing together clues, testing theories, and constantly refining their understanding in their quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Despite these challenges, the quest for evidence continues, fueled by the tantalizing potential of the multiverse. Like any bold scientific hypothesis, the multiverse faces its share of skepticism and scrutiny. Critics of the multiverse hypothesis often point to its lack of testability. After all, if we can't access these other universes, how can we ever hope to verify their existence? This is a valid concern. Science relies on empirical evidence, and without it, we're left in the realm of speculation. However, proponents of the multiverse theory argue that it's not so much about direct observation, but about the indirect implications. They suggest that the multiverse could explain certain unexplainable phenomena in our own universe, such as the fine-tuning of physical constants. On the philosophical front, the multiverse theory is often seen as a leap of faith, akin to believing in a higher power. Critics argue that invoking an infinite number of unseen universes to explain our own is a kind of cosmic cop-out. But proponents of the multiverse hypothesis counter that it's not about belief, but about following the mathematical and theoretical implications of our best scientific theories to their logical conclusions. Then there's the issue of multiverse proliferation. If there are infinite universes, does that mean anything and everything is possible? Does this lead to a kind of cosmic absurdity, where every conceivable scenario plays out somewhere? Critics argue this makes the concept meaningless as it can explain anything, and thus explains nothing. Yet multiverse theorists respond by pointing out that while there may be a vast number of universes, they are not necessarily all radically different. They could be governed by similar physical laws, with only minor variations. Now, let's not forget that the multiverse hypothesis also faces scrutiny within the scientific community. Some scientists argue that it's not a scientifically rigorous theory because it doesn't make specific testable predictions. However, proponents of the multiverse theory are undeterred. They argue that while the multiverse may not be directly testable now, that doesn't mean it won't be in the future. They point to instances in the past where scientific theories were initially seen as untestable, only for technological advancements to later provide the means for testing. In addressing these criticisms, proponents of the multiverse hypothesis underscore that it's not about asserting the existence of other universes as fact, but about exploring it as a fascinating and potentially fruitful theoretical possibility. They remind us that the multiverse theory like any scientific hypothesis, is a work in progress, subject to revision and refinement as our understanding evolves. This ongoing debate is a testament to how seriously the scientific community takes the concept of the multiverse. As we gaze into the future, the possibility of understanding the multiverse seems both tantalizingly close and impossibly far. 
but what does the future hold for multiverse theory and its investigation? Let's explore. In the realm of the multiverse, the future is brimming with potential. Scientists are continually developing new models and refining existing ones, pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. One such avenue is the world of quantum mechanics, a domain that's still largely mysterious and unexplored. Many believe that the answers to the multiverse may lie hidden within its quantum intricacies. For instance, new interpretations of quantum mechanics could provide fresh insights into the multiverse and its implications. Then, there's high-precision cosmological data. As our technological capabilities advance, we're able to capture and analyze data with increasing accuracy and detail. This data could potentially reveal anomalies indicative of a multiverse. For example, the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, may hold subtle clues about other universes. Scientists are eagerly awaiting the next generation of space telescopes and observatories, which could offer even more precise measurements. But perhaps the most promising avenue is the development of a theoretical framework that unifies gravity and quantum mechanics. Currently, these two pillars of modern physics are incompatible on the smallest scales. However, if we can bridge this gap, we might be able to make testable predictions about the multiverse. This grand unification, often referred to as a theory of everything, remains one of the holy grails of theoretical physics. The role of technology in testing the multiverse hypothesis cannot be understated. From advanced telescopes peering into the farthest reaches of the cosmos to supercomputers simulating the birth of universes, technology is an essential tool in our quest to understand the multiverse. As we continue to push the limits of what's technologically feasible, who knows what doors we might open? Of course, all of this is easier said than done. The multiverse hypothesis is still largely speculative, and we have a long way to go before we can claim to understand it fully. It's a daunting task, but one that scientists are eager to undertake. After all, the pursuit of knowledge is never-ending, and each step we take brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. In this journey, we are guided by the words of Carl Sagan, who said, Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Perhaps that something incredible is the multiverse, waiting patiently for us to uncover its secrets. The future holds much promise, and perhaps one day we may find our place in the multiverse. As we continue to explore the cosmos, let's keep our minds open to the extraordinary possibilities that lie ahead, because in the grand scheme of things, we're just getting started. Our journey into the multiverse may be coming to an end, but for scientists, this is just the beginning. In our exploration, we've ventured across the concept of the multiverse, a hypothesis that extends our universe into a potentially infinite cosmos of possibilities. We've considered the different models proposed, from the many worlds interpretation to the inflationary and string theory multiverses. Each of these models presents a unique perspective on the nature of physical laws and the potential for life. We've examined the indirect evidence that supports this grand idea, such as cosmic microwave background anomalies and fine-tuning arguments. We've also acknowledged the fundamental challenge of testing these theories due to the inaccessibility of other universes, emphasizing the current state of knowledge and the open questions that remain. We've delved into the criticisms and concerns around the multiverse hypothesis, acknowledging its speculative nature the philosophical objections it raises, and the potential problems of multiverse proliferation. We've seen how proponents of the hypothesis address these criticisms, constantly striving to refine their theories in the face of skepticism. Looking ahead, we've speculated on the future prospects for testing or constraining the multiverse hypothesis. We've discussed the role that technological advancements and new theoretical developments may play in this ongoing scientific quest. In essence, we've glimpsed into the heart of one of the most profound questions of our time. What is our universe's place within the potential multiverse? The quest to answer this question is far from over. It's a journey driven by our unyielding curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, and our capacity for discovery. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, 
we may one day find ourselves standing on the threshold of other universes, peering into the vast and mysterious multiverse that lies beyond. Thank you for joining us on this journey. The multiverse may be vast and mysterious, but remember, so too is our curiosity and our capacity for discovery.